So today I'm going to be working on some infinity scarves and I'll be showing you how to make an infinity scarf. They're really easy. Um, it's a circle scarf, whatever it's called, infinity scarf. But I am making mine out of stretch fabric and I'll show you how to do that. So I was already in the process of making um, some scarves for a craft fair. This is actually one of my infinity scarves made of um, stretch fabric. So I made two of those. These are my ties. <laughs> And then I have um, this one made out of flannel, and it's not stretch fabric. It's just um, wide enough for you to wrap it twice um, for an adult. Um, and then this one is a kid's one that I made um, with some leftovers that I had from this fabric and this fabric. So basically I used the technique I'm gonna show you, and I just cut out a piece of this one, a piece of that one, and then I sewed them together, turned it into a infinity scarf circle scarf um, so this one you can reverse it um, and then here's another of that blue flannel one and then this one's like a it kind of feels like a gauze but not really I don't really know fabric types like that but um, here's another one and this is the one that you're going to be seeing on the cover picture for this video So yeah, the one I'm going to be showing you is this one made out of stretch fabric. So that's what the right side looks like. So I don't have a video of me doing the first step, which is just using a yard of fabric, folding it in half, and then cutting it in half um, to get two scarves. So that 36 inches cut in half gives me enough for two scarves and depending on the width of your fabric your scarf can be wider or it can be thinner like the blue flannel one I showed you guys um, this one's thinner um, and if you buy more like if you buy a yard and a half or two yards and you cut it in half and you make two um, scarves then obviously they'll be also be uh, wider when you're wearing it um, the blue one's a little bit thinner and this one's just gonna be wider um, around the neck um, so I cut them in half and then I took each half, don't mind my kid if you hear him in the background, um, took each half and folded those in half. So this is folded in half here on with right sides together. And then um, what I do is I pin about with stretch about four inches from the edge here. So I'm going to start sewing here about four to six, it could be four to six inches from the edge of your um, scarf you're gonna fold you're gonna um, sew from here to about four inches I don't have this one pinned over here it fell out but I'm um, about four inches away from the other end of your scarf so if you're working with a stretch fabric like I am for these particular scarves you're going to use the zigzag stitch um, but if you're working on like a flannel that doesn't have stretch, you can just do a straight stitch and I always stitch mine twice. So I'll go ahead and stitch the edge and then go over it again. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing with the zigzag. Uh, I'm going to stitch it and then I'm going to stitch over it again. So I'm going to stitch it twice. And when you're folding it, you want to make sure that you're folding it along the selvage edge. Um, not the other way because... It's just not going to work that other way. You want it to be folded in the longest way possible. So this is how long my scarf is. This one you'll probably be able to, um, um, what is that called? You might be able to fold it over um, more than twice when you put it around your neck. So this is um, going to be one of the scarves. And this one's going to be pretty long. I'll show you on the mannequin what it looks like once I am done with it. So when you're stitching this, you want to do a quarter inch seam allowance or just line it up with the edge of your presser foot. I find that um, the best way to do this since you're just sewing straight down. Okay, so we went ahead and sewed it all together. Now the seam's there and now you have this huge long tube with um, the edges here and on the other end uh, loose. You have that and that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and flip it inside out and then you're gonna want to put it so that the C 
seam is facing up. So you want to lay it flat so your seam is facing up. I don't have a lot of space on my little table here, but this is my seam. And I'm going to grab the other side, the other end of my tube. And I'm going to come and match it together here. So these are the two seams. Right here. These are both my seams on each end of the tube. I'm going to put the seams on top of each other, but I'm not going to pin the seams. I'm actually going to pin the edges. So we're going to put a pin here. This is the most complicated um, part about the infinity scarf. And then actually hand sewing it is another um, part that gets a little bit uh, difficult, but it's really not that bad. So I'm going to pin it all the way around here. And I want to show you guys this pitting so it's actually gonna end up twisting the tube around itself looks a little confusing but once you actually do it it's really not um, that hard once you get the hang of it um, and then you're just gonna keep pinning it until you get to the other edge so the other side of that flap that was still loose right here you're gonna get you're going to pin it all the way to there and I'll show you what it looks like once it's all pinned. So here it is all pinned. These are the edges. Uh, the seams are right here and right here on this side. That's the other seam right there. Um, and this is how it's pinned. It's going to be like a little semicircle all the way to the other edge. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew along here. I would do um, a little um, pasta selvage edge there just so you're not getting these little holes that you get on the selvage on your scarf so you're not seeing that so you're going to do a little bit past it could be the 5 eighths um, of a seam allowance and you're going to sew all the way to the other edge and then I'll show you what that looks like once I get that done all right so I got it all pinned um, not pinned but sewn together that's the edge Remember the seams right here and right there. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the two edges and we're just gonna pull it through. Here's the scarf, but now you have this little hole right here and that you will have to um, stitch together by hand right here to stitch it together, um, to close it. And I just need to find out what the name of the stitch is and I'll get back to you with that. Okay, so next what I'm doing is um, laying my um, seams flat against each other like this. So I'm folding it in here and laying it flat against. So this is my machine sewn one and this is where the hole begins. And then I'm pinning it closed like this because we're going to be doing a ladder stitch. Um, I will try my hardest to <laughs> show you guys on video how to ladder stitch. but. Um, if you're not quite understanding it from sh uh, watching me do it then you can definitely google it um, there's a lot of like little diagrams that you can find on google um, when you just type in uh, ladder stitch sewing and they all pop up pop up and they're pretty easy um, to understand because it's like a diagram showing you how it looks and how to do it and all that so that's what you're going to do now you're just going to pin it all closed uh, like this as flat as you can get it to make it look like it's part of the seam. So this is the machine sewn and this is the part that I'm stitching. So to get it this flat you might want to iron it which you can definitely do. Um, I am not going to iron mine which I probably should but I'm not going to. So what you want to do next is get your sewing needle. Let's see if Here's the edge of my seam and this little fold right here. I don't know if you can see it but there's that fold. It actually goes under to make it flat like that so it's actually inside the seam which would be actually the seam allowance um, that you made when you sewed and you're gonna stick it under there um, to hide it all right so here we are this is where my <laughs> that's where my um, my uh, thread is coming out of so I hid it underneath that seam allowance and you can see it there coming out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, catch the, a little bit of the other side here and then you're going to go right across 
and right near that first stitch you're gonna catch a little bit of that edge too um, then you're gonna ooh, of course I always do this I always knot up my thread um, but you're gonna pull it through pull it through and it's going to pull that closed so I'm going to do a couple of loose stitches and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like let me just um, go ahead and do one more stitch here with you guys if I can figure out how to untie all this stuff from my pins um, all right so it's coming out through here my last stitch came out over here so I want to go back to that stitch because you want to make sure to try to rush through it and then you're gonna go back to where that last stitch came through on the opposite side and you're gonna go through there and then you're going to go ahead and go back through here so you're gonna keep doing this stitch all the way down and I'll show you what a couple of stitches look like um, once I have them all in so here is the um, stitch it kind of looks more like a little zigzag stitch than the ladder stitch that you'll see but uh, this is how I do mine um, can't really see it much because I don't really use a contrasting thread since I'm going to be using this for a craft fair I'm gonna actually be um, selling these scars at a craft fair uh, so um, let's see if I can just get it to focus a little bit so basically it goes up and then back down just like this in a little zigzag pattern um, so I'm going to try to do one on video here now that I have them all loose here. So the last one I did was here. So from here to here. And see my thread is coming out from here so I have to go back here. And this is the edge of that last stitch on this side. So I'm going to go in through here and back out just a little. You don't want to make it too wide. And you're going to pull that through. pull it see it made another um, part of the zigzag there and then now I'm gonna go back to where this one came out from go in through there and back out like that and then we're gonna pull that through and then that's gonna make another leg on that zigzag there and then so these are loose right now so once you pull them together they actually um, hopefully I don't pop my thread <laughs> they actually close up that hole pretty well so there we go they're nice and tight so this is the hole now well a piece of the hole I haven't finished the whole thing come on focus there we go so there you see how it's all closed up so the hole started right here and I've closed up to this pin so far all right so I got to the end here and my uh, last stitch is coming out from right there I'm going to just stick my needle back in there pull a couple of fibers up and go underneath those fibers and I'm going to make a little loop probably like the size of your finger um, and then you're going to go through that loop twice so this is how you're going to uh, knot it up you're gonna go in once and through that loop again and then you're gonna pull it tight my f camera keeps coming out of focus mm -hmm. so there we go that's all the way in there and then you have that little knot so what you're going to do is put your needle in through the seam be careful when you're doing that you don't want to poke your fingers oh, I've done it plenty of times in through the seam and then you're gonna have it um, come out somewhere down on the scarf so that you can actually pull the hole into um, into the seam allowance and make the hole disappear I mean the hole the knot disappear and then you're just gonna go ahead and cut you know we want to pull on this and cut really close to the edge so the hole is uh, the hole the knot is gone and your seam 
is completely closed. See it? Now the hole started here and I went through here and it ended right here. So that is uh, it all hand stitched together. That's from the beginning to the end and I'll show you what it looks like on the mannequin. So at this point if you had any loose ends um, hanging out anywhere you'll cut those off. I know I had a few when I was showing you that knot. Um, some string that um, was there from <laughs> when I stitched this together. So you want to cut that out. Make sure it's all nice and neat. You don't have anything sticking out. Um, and you have your scarf all done. So let's see how this looks on. Here it is, the scarf we just made together. It's so nice. So this is wrapped twice. That's what I was telling you, it'll be long enough to wrap it twice. See that, so pretty. There you go. So pretty. There you go. Hello everyone, so I just finished making this infinity scarf, um, which I shot a tutorial for as well. I just wanted to show you this. Um, I know they're called like circle scarves and infinity scarves, and they're always trending because I see people wearing them all the time. Um, so I wanted to go ahead, since I've been posting them on my Instagram, and make a little tutorial for all the beginners out there like me that want to know how to make their own infinity scarves. Um, I will be selling mine at a craft fair and I'm also going to be making a YouTube video out of um, the videos that I just made um, for this infinity scarf. So I hope you guys enjoy um, and if you want to see more of this stuff please send me a message, please leave me comments on my YouTube, follow me on YouTube and like, subscribe, all that stuff that you do on YouTube. Um, I'm new to it, so I really don't know what all that stuff is. Um, <laughs> so go ahead and um, click the link on the bio, and um, it'll be up there in my blog. So check me out. Hello everyone, so I just finished making this infinity scarf, um, which I shot a tutorial for as well. I just wanted to show you this. Um, I know they're called like circle scarves and infinity scarves, and they're always 